The North Dakota Game and Fish Department manages our state's fish and wildlife, including those species like aquatic invertebrates that often go unnoticed. Aquatic invertebrate, it, it's an invertebrate, so it lacks a backbone. It's aquatic, it either spends its entire life or a substantial portion of its life within a water environment. There are a couple of reasons the department is surveying rivers, streams, lakes, reservoirs, and wetlands in North Dakota. So one is we're trying to get additional background information on our um, aquatic invertebrates for our state wildlife action plan as we try to evaluate some species that may be of uh, conservation need and concern. We also sample for uh, invertebrates in order to use them as uh, water quality indicators. There are different methods to employ to collect aquatic invertebrates. You can just set out artificial substrates and see what gathers on them. Or we use, um, I prefer a, an active collection method, so it's a, it's a D-frame net. Today's survey, we're at the Hart River near Mandan collecting a sample of what lives under the water's surface. Some of the things that we're finding here, uh, dragonfly larvae, mayfly larvae, caddisfly and stonefly larvae, those are kind of the, the, the typical species that you would encounter in, a, in a different habitats like this. There are also different aquatic habitats at each location where biologists collect samples. So you want to grab a sample, representative sample from all of those different habitat types just to get a, a collective representative sample of what organisms are residing in this location. Aquatic invertebrates are an important part of the entire ecosystem. Biodiversity across North Dakota's landscape is important. It's important to us as a department and us in the conservation group. Aquatic invertebrates are also important for, for the food chain. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.